guys welcome back to my channel excited we love a sneaky surprise release I've got the brand new Pat McGrath mothership divine rose palette and she is beautiful so excited so excited for this uh, eyeshadow palette and I've got my full Pat McGrath Labs face going on. We've got it all together. So if you want to see how my eyes came together, see some swatches, see what this super cool thing is on my head, just keep watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I really do appreciate it when you do. Now, let's jump in. I am Brie and I'm the co-owner of Breezy Tea along with my husband. And today's Breezy Tea product of the day is our black, very popular, black boho stretch head wrap. I've worn them in other videos. I love them. It's one of our newer products. You, it's a double piece of fabric that you get to fold and fashion into any style you want. So I have some fanciness going on here. Keeps my hair up, out my face, but zhuzhes up my current shorter hair. So that is what is on my head. And if you want to see any of our hair products, we make all our products ourselves. Just visit us at breezytea.com. Now, into some swatches and then let's talk about this collection. Here are the swatches for the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Divine Rose. So we just saw some swatches, now we're gonna talk about this eyeshadow palette. So this is the packaging, okay? Beautiful roses, rose packaging. Beautiful like all the other Mothership palettes. So this was like a sneak release last week I, I don't even know where I saw it, but there was something and I, and I rushed over to Selfridges. Selfridges is one of the places that I buy my products. So what I believe happened was when Selfridges and Pat McGrath Labs made their deal, one of the deals was to have Selfridges exclusively release one of the Mothership palettes for a little while anyway. And I say a little while because right before I began to shoot this video, I saw Pat McGrath leave, um, make an announcement that something was coming. And I do believe this beautiful palette, this Divine Rose palette is going to be available at uh, her website and probably everywhere else Pat McGrath Labs products are sold. That's my guess. I'm just saying it's a guess. As far as we know right now, this was a Selfridges exclusive, but that's just my guess that I don't think personally that they would come out with a Mothership palette and not carry it to other places, especially in the US. So now let's just look at some of these colors. Now there are 10 colors in the Mothership palette, like always. It comes in the beautiful black case, very heavy, S serious mirror. This serious, this beveled mirror is serious, seriously weighted. And we have two mattes and shimmers. We've got some glitters in there. And three of the colors are from other palettes. So Skin Show Nude here. What's this one called? Rose Dusk. And this one here, Astral Solstice, are in other Pat McGrath Labs. Um, palettes and I will have all that information It's too much information guys to retain everything when you're doing a video but if you visit me at breeziesblog.com I'll have that information in my blog along with swatches along with pictures of the palette and that'll all be on my blog it's just too much information at once when the first pictures this is heavy okay so you see it? Ooh, it's pretty, woo. Okay, I'm putting it down now, guys, okay? This thing's heavy. So when the pictures first came out, it's boring, it's blah, 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 blah. You had that side, and then you had the people excited because it looks super wearable, something people could wear every day, the colors were. Now I have held off on the last few bit of Pat McGrath Labs um, eyeshadow palette. It's a lot of glitter and a lot of color for me, and I just knew that I would not use it a lot. And so I've gotten a grip on purchases. I don't want to keep buying stuff that I just know going in, I'm not going to use a lot. So I've held off and this was my reward because these colors are completely on my alley, completely every day, but you can, 
obviously jazz it up because like I said, there are glitters there, but it felt more grounded to me and so it completely appealed to me. And um, yeah, so we're gonna get right in. I'm excited. I'm excited to try on these shadows. The bar is here for Pat McGrath Lab eyeshadows. I have not been let down yet. And let's dig in. in love with this palette. I have my full Pat McGrath Labs face together. Primer, foundation, setting powder, mascara, highlight, and bronze, the bronze stick. I have Omi on my lips, and I'm gonna finish it off with Flesh Fantasy. The gloss, and just get a little gloss on, and then we're gonna talk about these shadows. Okay. And let me tell you, her glosses over her lip, her lipsticks, so good. Favorite lip gloss, favorite lip sticks. It just, you know, let me some my crap. So, these shadows are dope. These shadows are dope, and it turns out that I ended up liking a color that intrigued me, but I was a little afraid of. Not afraid, but mm, I didn't know if I'd like it on me, and I ended up loving it. It's, what is it called? VR Rose Venus. It's this beautiful color here that has, I don't think it, again, my blog will have the pictures. It is a rose gold color. Like you see the gold, you see the rose. It, it wears like almost orange. You should be able to see it on my eyes in the middle. I put it on the middle of my lids. I put it underneath my eye in the middle. And I loved it so much, I put it on my cupid's bow. There's a little iridescent situation going on on my cupid's bow. So that is such a fun shimmer situation. I really like this palette. Now, the first matte that I went in with looks really light in the pan. Really light. It looks like a like a the palest maybe rosy mauve color, but it's much deeper on the um, on the brush and on my eyes. So a really nice mauve. I mean, that was like a true mauve on my eye. Really, really nice. And then I went in with the brown, it was like a cool brown on the, uh, the, uh, the eyes and the crease. Okay, so we have a little bit of that going on. Then I went in with that rose shimmer on my lid. And then I took that iridescent rose gold, put it in the middle of my eyes, which I don't typically do, but this is beautiful. So I got five colors out of this. I didn't want to go with the, um, the taupe and the brown color today because, you know, it's the rose palette. So I wanted to see more of those pinky mauve colors, but those all swatch. As you saw the swatches, they all swatch beautifully, okay? And I'll have fun using those, and those two will be every day. Now, I don't feel like this is over the top at all. I don't. It's a little dark, the <clears throat> corners of my eyes for daytime, but I, I really like this thing that I pulled together. I love this look. I This is as much pink as you'll see around me and on me, between the backdrop and my sweater. 
a girl could have pink you would think I love pink I don't love pink this is more rose this is like acceptable pink for me this is acceptable in your 40s pink but other than that she she managed to make it a rosy people see colors and they're like I don't see rose I don't see rose to me when they come together when the colors come together you see floral situations and by the way roses are not just pink just fyi okay you can get roses in lots of colors as per usual a tap into the pan and you get insane color payoff and pavograph also manages to do something most others can't i never have any fallout real fallout with her shimmers it, it is it, it amazes me every time the shimmers look it just they just don't they adhere to my eyes do we have a special bond is it a bond between me and the shadows i don't know i never have fallout problems which is why i'm able to put this um her palettes on and not worry after foundation and I, don't, I never have to worry about it my surprise color is that rose venus rosy gold because i am not iridescent is really not my thing but pat mcgrath labs has made it so that's it for me guys i had an absolute blast shooting this video like i always do when i get to play with new pat mcgrath products and this divine rose mothership palette is a beaut, an absolute beaut. So I hope you had fun watching, I had fun making it, and if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, guys. I love it when you do, and I'm loving the comments. Let me know. Are you interested in this palette? Did you manage to grab one from Selfridges? Do you hope it comes, you know, to your country? Let me know, to the US, wherever you are. Let me know, let me know, let me know. And if you wanna check out any of our stretch head wraps, our headbands, our t-shirt hair towel wraps, satin line beanies, satin line knit beanies, uh, satin head scarves, our holiday sets are available now. Just visit us at breezytea.com. I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao for now, bye.